Brexiteers can rejoice after the UK has landed 70 trade deals following Britain's departure from the European Union. Two years ago today, January 31st, Britain officially enacted the biggest constitutional change in living memory after becoming the first EU member state to leave the bloc. Within those two years, there has been significant stumbling blocks including a shortage of workers following an exodus of Europeans. But released from strict EU trading laws, the UK has been free to pursue its own trade deals. So far, the UK has signed trade deals and agreements in principle with 70 countries and one with the EU. Now in a government document titled, The Benefits of Brexit, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the act of Brexit was not an end in itself and but the means by which our country will achieve great things. He said the freedom away from the EU allows opportunities for Britain to build back better than ever before. Mr Johnson continued, untangling ourselves from 40 years of EU membership, keeping what works, changing what doesn't, supporting new industries, reinvigorating older ones and firmly planting the British flag on the world stage once again. This is a hugely exciting time for our country, one filled with potential and opportunity. The bolder we are, the greater the gains will be for us all. The document claimed Britain's departure from the EU has given the UK an unprecedented opportunity to forge new alliances and strengthen our partnerships around the world. It goes on to say, our departure from the EU has given us an unprecedented opportunity to forge new alliances and strengthen our partnerships around the world. The interests of the British people now lie at the heart of everything we do around the world, from our trade policy to our sanctions policy. In a bullet point titled, Agreed Trade Deals with 70 Countries Plus the EU, the document outlines some of the landmark deals secured. It reads, this includes landmark deals with close partners including Australia and Japan. We have also launched negotiations on a trade deal with India, a market of 1.4 billion people. These deals are tailor-made to benefit British businesses and consumers, creating jobs and expanding choice. Since Britain voted to leave the EU there have been significant issues with fishing rights and the Northern Ireland Protocol. Sharing the UK's only land border with an EU nation and with a delicate socio-political balance, it has been crucial to get it right. Commentators argue the issue has a major impact on the demise of Theresa May as Prime Minister. Mr Johnson has also faced intense criticism on the issue. The protocol keeps Northern Ireland in the EU's single market for goods and EU customs rules are enforced at its ports, a diversion from the rest of the UK.
The Prime Minister was also handed another bombshell last year after Brexit Minister Lord Frost resigned after months of talks with EU Vice President Maros Svkovic. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss took over key responsibilities over Brexit negotiations. However, Ms. Truss has tested positive for coronavirus and Thursday's talks have been thrown into doubt.